All right, we're back in here in my crappy lit garage, and this thing's been sitting for quite a few days with WD-40 in it, and uh, some carb cleaner and stuff. Keep spraying in it every couple days, but that slide in there is still seized in there solid, as well as the choke cable here. It's unscrewed, but I think it's rusted in something down inside there. You can also see that feed line that comes from the tank and it goes to that port right here is plugged solid so the tank did have a bunch of rust in it so I think this is going to be all gummed up as well now I've been reading online and they say you can heat this up with a torch real gently and sometimes it'll let that metal expand just enough to get that slide out so I'm not going to be prying in there at all and I don't really want to buy new carb so hopefully we can save this one so we'll see what happens and I think this is a it says Makuni on it I think online it said it's a v, VM22 something like that so see what we can figure out came just like they said on the old internet slid right out of there cool it's really gummed up really really sticky so I think this thing just got parked with a bunch of fuel in it and it just sat there so it's a little warm not too bad though Oh, there came the uh, choke cable came right out too. Sweet. I'm going to clear off my bench and we'll uh, tear this carb apart. Maybe we'll get this thing to fire up here in the next couple days. All right, so I messed with this a little bit. Not a lot, Took the, got, got the carb off with the heat, you saw that, so let's set my phone up and shoot a little ether in it, and see if we can get it to fire. I know it's hard, but you don't get the time. To do the things you gotta do. fast kind of startup of this thing granted it didn't have a carburetor on it but we did get to fire off of some ether and that tells me that the electronics are all good the coil and the stator and the plug and the wire and all that is uh, functioning properly so that is great news also you saw how I used the torch there to heat up the slide to get the slide out of the carburetor now I've looked around on the forums and I've seen a lot of people talking about it, but I've never actually seen someone do it. So I was a little apprehensive to try that, but I figured I would do it and show you guys out there, maybe someone can use that info on their own project. So hope you guys liked the video. If you did, go ahead and like it, share it, subscribe, whatever. And uh, I'll post another one here in a few days of the whole carb teardown. 
it is pretty disgusting inside that carburetor. You will very much be surprised as to what that looks like. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.